second qualifier. Uganda Cranes coach Paul Put is adamant that Algeria will not be an easy task, but is impressed after what he saw on Friday. Uganda beat Botswana 1-0 on their return to the Mandela National Stadium and will be looking to take advantage of Algeria's wobble on Friday night when they lost 2-1 to Guinea. Uh, what I've been seeing after Botswana, that we can make uh, it difficult to Algeria. But we don't estimate, we, we respect uh, Algeria. We know they have big players who are playing in big teams. So after their last, they're short, they want uh, to react. So we are warned, uh, we have to be uh, also very attentful. Also, Algeria has one more uh, day uh, in the recuperation than us. I can tell you it's very difficult to prepare a team in two days because you've been playing Botswana on the 7th. Captain Ismail Watenga is confident the team will be at its best and says the players are ready to lay it all on the pitch. We've got everything from the coaches, now it's up to us to implement on the field. I, we know it's a tough game but we are prepared for it. We're going to fight as players, we're going to put everything on the field. Uh, it won't be an easy game for them as well. So as players, we are willing and ready to fight for our country. Meanwhile, work to have the playing surface ready for tomorrow was already underway and the assurance is that kick-off time will find the pitch in pristine condition. A number of workers were seen putting final touches to the pitch while others were seen in the stands cleaning. The few people we are seeing around on the pitch, in the pitch, they are trying to rejuvenate our, our playground. The recovery time for the pitch is five days. Now that, but because we have a match on Monday, we have to work at and ensure that it is well watered, where there were some simple patches because it has not yet matured fully. Uh, we are really patched up, and it is what we are seeing right now. Felix Manindo, NTV Sport.